Hi Aries and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well and for those that are new to my channel a very warm welcome and cross watchers you are definitely welcomed here as well because the roles here they can be reversed okay. So Aries this is your reading okay your weekly love reading and this is always meant to empower you to give you some insight clarity um, even just to confirm what you've always known or what your intuition is kind of whispering to you at okay. So it's always meant to empower you never to take your power away or to make you feel helpless. Helpless. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Let's do your weekly love reading, Aries. Also, uh, Aries, for those that have been inquiring about a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, um, just be um, aware that um, I am I have become booked out recently for September. So if you did want to um, book in a reading, um, yeah, so just consider yeah you, that it will be in october okay um even possibly i can you know even do the first week of october but um this month yeah has been unfortunately um it's been completely booked out okay so all the readings that i do all of them and how to contact me is in the description box below okay and as i, I say every week even if you just want to contact me beforehand um, if you just want to ask a question about the reading or anything you're unsure of, um, please send me an email. I always respond to all the emails, uh, usually within a day. Um, and if it's not, it's definitely the next day. It's probably because of time difference. Okay. All right. So Aries, putting that aside for October's personal readings, uh, there will be an extended to this reading. And as I say every week, it is 100% optional. Okay. Um, so the purpose of the extended is um, basically I'm be going to be looking 100% into your person with their thoughts, their feelings, actions, which I always say, I always preach is very important, outcome and also um, advice for you. I haven't forgotten about you, Aries. There will be a preview as well. Okay, so if you click um, on the, the link below in the description box, um, I will be talking through about everything that I'll be doing in the extended as well. Okay. So just at least you have a, a, you know, kind of a glimpse, an idea of what I do in the extendeds, okay? So I just saw the sun peeking out. I feel like there could be happy changes coming towards you, Aries, okay? Let's see. Ooh, what's this? What came out? The moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian here. You probably feel in the dark about what's happening here, what's going on with this connection here. Um, yeah, a lot of you are trying to use your intuition here. Maybe it's kind of whispering or screaming at you about this situation. Uh, but we do have a change ha happening, um, happening here. Let's see. Last one. Perfect. All right. For Aries, what is going on with you? Who's occupying your heart space? Oh, wow. I, I did say there was changes coming up. Uh, we do have the Ace of Wands. Okay. You could be dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This is all about having a passionate new start. Okay. It lights that fire in your belly. Yeah. Gets you excited again. Um, for some of you, this could very well be new love coming um, into your life. We will see though. Either way, this is a new beginning. And where there was an ending, there is always a beginning here. Okay. This really gets you motivated again. It gets, I, I have to admit, this is a beautiful card only because it's like where there was nothing happening. It's like suddenly <laughs> a lot happens. Uh, but it hasn't been easy here. With well, that 10 of Wands, it certainly has not been easy. It's been burdensome. <laughs> it's been a struggle to get where you are. Okay. Um, I do feel here that with this Five of Cups, okay. Um, so this is, uh, could be also Cancerian energy. Actually, it's probably strong Cancer energy. I do feel here that your person may have done something. I'm really feeling that as much as I love talking about new people and new connections here, I feel like this is someone here that um, has done something where they're kind of hanging their head in shame. Yeah, they could be quite embarrassed, ashamed of what they did. And they know very well here that uh, you're kind of guarded. You're cool, calm, and collected, but you're guarded at the moment. You don't want your heart broken. The Nine of Wands is also about not giving up, okay? Yeah. We've got the Hermit there, um, Virgo energy. I feel like a lot of these could not be talking um, to each other as well. We've got that Queen of Cups there. They definitely love you, though. And with that Queen of Wands, they're taking action towards you. We've got that Ace of Cups. They want a brand new start with you, falling all over again. Wow. All right, let's see. I'll put the cards down first. So we have the Three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. We have the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So what's at the beating heart of this reading? We have more Cancerian energy with the Chariot. Some of you could be at a distance from your person. 
okay? Scorpio energy with the Death Rebirth card here, okay? We also have the Queen of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Then we end with the Two of Swords, Libra energy, okay? Ooh, I feel like a lot of these are one in, one foot in, one foot out with this person, um, for some of you, um, you could really, uh, well, you could, I'm going to say really, some of you could have met through work, yeah, um, through studies, an institute, place of employment, could have the same professional network of friends. Um, if that's not your story, this is going to be the same for all of you, is that they want to be part of your team. They want to collaborate with you. Yeah, they want to work with you, not against you. They want to be team Aries. That's what's going on here. Okay. Ooh, and we're followed by another three here. So I'm wondering this, all these threes, I'm wondering... Uh, I'm hoping that there isn't some kind of wedge or third party or something that came between both of you, but we will see. This is the celebration card. It is coming together. It's my union, my reunion card. Um, some of you could have the same group of friends as well, okay? I see you here with well, their desire, really, to meet with you in a social setting, cafe, restaurant. Um, yeah, they really I feel like they really want to be with you. This is it. Oh, my God. I feel like something's happened as well. It's been an accomplishment that they want to share with you. Okay, um, with a personal or professional life. Uh, the Knight of um, Cups. Well, there is a message coming in because we have that envelope there. Okay. Uh, ooh, yeah. So the Knights are all about uh, messages, are all about changes. Okay. So I'm seeing here that there's um, a potential love offer coming your way from this person. And with that Three of Cups, they desperately want that healing, that harmony um, back. They know that the, this can be saved from their point of view. Absolutely, though. Now, the Queen of Pentacles sometimes can show someone that is probably married here, maybe to someone else. Maybe you were married with this person. Um, but maybe they were actually also, you know, in a committed relationship somewhere else, which does make it a little bit more challenging, confusing as well. But they're holding you in high regard here, okay? They look up to you. I feel like whatever you're doing, Aries, um, you're going to be quite successful with the Chariot, okay? The Chariot is all about success here, okay? You know, you work quietly and you make, make you know success makes all the noise here um but they want to be victorious with you they want this to work it's a strong desire because where there was an ending now there is a beginning okay because it does say death and rebirth okay oh wow queen of swords some of you definitely could be dealing with someone that is separated that is divorced could be an air sign as well okay i don't know i kind of feel here that they may have come in off a bit cold uh, a little bit coming off a little bit as bitter as well. They do want to, I don't know, it's like they want to settle something. They want to clear the air. It's all about communication there um, with the Queen of Swords. Preferably they want face-to-face -face communication here. For some of you, it could be, you know, even an age difference, could be children involved here. But we all know that the pages are all about messages there. And this page is holding that um, Ace of Pentacles there. So they're prepared to give you that solid offer. They just need to contact you first because they don't really know how you're going to receive them. Um, so with that Two of Swords, I feel like a lot of you, Aries, um, have one foot in, one foot out. This is when it's a bit hard for you to make a decision. Yeah, it's like, oh, do I give them another chance? Do I open up lines of communication or, you know, do I stay where I am because I'm good right now? Um, so I feel like also if there's a bit of indecision on their part on how to approach you, how to move forward here. Yeah, it's like there's a fork in the road for both of you um, at the moment. This is a very basic message, but I do want to clarify. Okay, let's see. There you are. That's the Emperor. That is, uh, oops, Aries energy. Okay. So, yeah. Ooh. I feel like a lot of you do want to probably take action as well. I feel like there's something here that needs to be settled. Clear the air. I feel like that's what needs to happen. <clears throat> all right let's get two more shuffles see there's a two of swords oh i feel like both of these are mirroring each other it's like oh uh, you know maybe waiting for your person to approach you but they're waiting for you to approach them there's the chariot again i feel like both of these want this to be successful but you're holding back aries two of cups beautiful soulmate twin flame energy you both love each other you're both mirroring each other um the two of cups always says that now's not the time to give up on those you love um I certainly feel that they haven't given up on you. They're just holding back. I feel like it's been quite a while for some of you, actually. All right, let's see. Let's start clarifying. See, we've got the death card again. Mm -hmm. I feel like a person really sees this as truly over, but they kind of refuse to let it, you know, it's almost like we, it's almost there, hanging by a thread there. You know what I mean? I feel like they're still holding on to hope here. That Four of Cups, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Um, that could also be Cancerian energy. They're feeling quite sad and despondent without you. They know that this was a missed opportunity. I'm also feeling that there was inaction on their part, okay, that they, they just didn't follow through. You know, when they say strike when the iron's hot and they didn't, so you moved on. Um, yeah, someone here could be also over drinking as a way to fill that void just to cope here as well. Page of Cups is my apology card. Uh, it, it is very sincere though, okay? Um, it is also about making a love offer. There definitely could be children involved, or at least I feel like a lot of you view your person as quite immature, childish, doesn't matter their age. It's like they just didn't step up when it was the moment. Five of Swords. Mm. They may have done something which was quite selfish, putting themselves first, you know, winning at all costs, but it's empty, um, empty victories but i feel like here nobody won and i feel like nobody's happy here at the moment yeah there is a wish um being fulfilled here for you three of cups we've got that union reunion and with the chariot there um yeah they're definitely coming towards you we've got the chariot there wow the nine of pentacles i feel like both of you at the moment are really trying to distract yourselves either with studies with work with finances your dream job um, now, remember, the Knight of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. And this card always tells me that, Aries, you are on the right path, okay? I feel like a lot of you do not want to be just dissuaded. You don't want to be distracted here by anything. So if your person is coming back, um, I feel like they they cannot come back with drama, okay? We have temperance here, okay? I feel like you are healing from this, absolutely. Um, so the only way for this to be restored is that harmony and balance needs to come with this person. Um, it is also about um, patience is needed here. I feel like your person, they they will have to be patient here with you. They cannot rush into this. Absolutely not. The five of wands. Yeah, I think they're worried that if they do come back, there could be conflict here as well, um, especially because they know what they did wasn't very good. They may have actually ended this as well, okay? Um, even if it was mutual because you both got the death card here. Um, yeah, but this this can show me when there's too many people around this connection as well. OK, um, that's not good. It should just be you and your person, um, Aries. Yeah, but they're coming back with truth and clarity with that Ace of Swords. OK, brand new start. They don't want to repeat the same mistakes from the past here. OK, um, yeah, but it's cutting away through all the BS, yeah, all the illusions, all the challenges, finally moving forward, which I just said, just in time because we have the Wheel of Fortune. They want to move forward with you. This is about destiny here. OK, a lot of you really felt with this person that you're at the bottom of the wheel. Um, but no more. Now they want the they want the ball to be, how do you say, you know, the ball going. They want the wheel to start turning here, okay? Um, the devil card, right. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. So, yeah, they very well um, may be obsessing over this. They're doing a very good job of, not, of people not knowing about this, of you not knowing about this. Um, I'm not really entirely feeling that they're doing something toxic or there's something unhealthy that they're doing. Um, I feel like they're putting their health in order here. This is also about moderation, taking care of yourself, healing. I kind of feel like they're really ruminating about this. It's like borderline obsession as well. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, both of these are probably definitely not talking to each other. This is a bit of soul searching also. You know, what makes me happy? What makes you happy, Aries? Okay, and I feel like, well, what makes them happy is you, very clearly. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. Deep soulmate um, connection here. And this is also showing me here that the love is mutual, that you both love each other. That's what I, I love. <laughs> Amazing. The choice has to be made, though. Their choice is, how do I approach my areas? But your choice is, well, do I want to revisit this connection again? Judgment, Libra energy. So they are charging towards you for what? For a reunion. They want to try this at least one more time. And I feel like Aries, a lot of these are actually very um, curious to see, can this work? Can this be healed? What are they bringing different to the table, as you can say? They've had a bit of a soul awakening here. I feel like a lot of them really want to change or have changed. I feel like they're really taking care of themselves as well. Eight of Pentacles. Definitely showing me some of these did meet through work or study somewhere professional. Um, but they're prepared to put in the hard work. They're prepared to prove themselves to you, okay? That they are worth another chance with that judgment card here. They know it's going to take work. Look at that. So I do feel that the return can make you actually quite happy with that Leo card, sun energy. That is pure happiness. No strings attached. It's just pure happiness. It's a card that blesses all the other cards. And if you have any challenging cards, it softens the effect of it. How beautiful is that? Look at that. There you are. That's the fool card. You're not a fool, okay? Aries, you're pretty switched on, okay? This is literally you just taking that leap of faith. And you know what? It's going to pay off. 
You're going to be happy. A lot of you are actually thinking of also moving as well. Like having your own adventure here as well. Moving probably to a hot sunny place. Probably moving overseas as well. I feel like even though this has ended, a lot of you are actually doing pretty good, I have to admit, on your own. Ace of Cups. The true card of love. They come back with this cup filled with emotions. It's actually overflowing the cup. Okay. It's all about babies, children's, marriage, engagements. It's like engagements, marriages. Yeah, the return of health also for you, especially if you emotionally your health has been wavering. Um, Aries, this is the return of your health as well. It's falling in love all over again. Oh, wow. Another ace. Are you kidding me? There's potential for this. I have to admit, you haven't let go of each other. This is a passionate new beginning. Okay, not only are the emotions there, but when you are together, that time when you were together, it was quite passionate and pure. You got three aces now. The strength card. Look at that. Leo energy again. Yeah, well, they're definitely plucking up their courage here. Their courage, their strength to actually approach you. I feel like it's been some time here. They're probably worried that they they um you will reject them. Okay. Yeah, I feel like especially with the strength card, they're really taking care of themselves. I feel like they want to look really like handsome or very sexy for you. The seven of swords, I feel like their return could be quite sneaky. They're not really gonna tell anyone. I also feel here that they're in denial about something until they cannot be in denial anymore. Um, so sometimes this can indicate a bit of lying, cheating, stealing, um, being cunning, doing something behind your back here. Um, yeah, but I feel here it's more of a sneaky energy of their return. Like probably running into you at a cafe, for example, that they may maybe went together or they'll, they'll know that they'll run into you somewhere. So try and act surprised if that happens. <laughs> the world. So where something has ended, something begins. Okay, we have the world card. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius energy you could be dealing with here. So literally they do think the world of you and some of you could be in a dis uh, long distance relationship here. Um, but where one cycle has ended, they want to start a brand new cycle with you. Wow, the tower. Now I'm getting two messages here and I feel like this is why you have one foot in, one foot out. I feel like they gave you a tower moment here and they ended this. They may have actually literally blocked you, ghosted you. They did something here and that's you. Just You were left to pick up the pieces saying what just happened. But I also feel like their return will be a tower moment as well. So I feel like you will not see this coming, even if you anticipate it. I just feel like none of you are going to expect this, though. But I almost feel that it's almost welcomed here. We also got true love here. Okay. Let's pull out some cards for you. Very interesting energy, though. I have to meet your person. Um, yeah. Whew. I feel like they just disappeared on you as well. I keep seeing this card. Let your friends help you. Okay, you may be receiving some good sound advice from your friends. Okay. Um, also, I feel like your person also may be talking to someone about you as well. They could be nudging them to come forward and just talk to you. Because they do love you with that lover's card. Absolutely. what we've got bottom of the deck what's brewing underneath that you can't see is this reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life Ooh. also keep an open mind i'm getting here keep an open mind of how things may transpire here okay because they're going to make the effort okay yeah codependency they may be emotionally attached to you they could be over drinking here as well that's a bit devil energy also acknowledging here that this is soulmate connection okay getting to know each other all over again wow let's see what do we have Ah, you deserve love. Aries, you deserve the best of the best. So if you blamed yourself in any way, yeah, or thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that, no. Okay? No, no, no. So this could actually literally mean an engagement in the future, but this is when the connection, as it says, reaches a higher level of commitment. So it's basically stronger than ever. Trust is a question here. Um, yeah, it's trusting the process, but I feel like a lot of these Aries, uh, I feel like they will have to earn your trust again. Wedding. Mm, this situation involves marriage. Okay. Also, possibly children could be involved, especially if your person was with someone else here. Got that passion card here. They're very passionate towards you, especially with that Ace of Wands. There's been some form of deception here. That is true. But this is also about removing one's mask. They do that. They come bear all, not literally, um, but that's them actually just telling you the entire truth. Okay. Yeah, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I know it hasn't been easy, um, Aries, from what I'm seeing with these cards. 
Um, but maybe it's worth it. We'll see. We'll look in the extended. They are worried here about unrequited love. With that tower card, I feel like a lot of you actually felt just unloved by this person because it was so easy for them just to get up and walk away. Okay? That's not the truth, though. Whatever's going on, whatever they did, why they walked away, they are coming back with that truth with that Queen of Swords. Absolutely. This is definitely not over. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this now to the extended. Um, and I'm going to clear the table. I'm going to use uh, several different decks. So if you click on that link, you'll see the free preview. And I'll be explaining what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing the reading from your person's point of view, just so I get straight to the point, okay, about their thoughts, feelings, um, their actions, um, outcome, and also advice for you, okay? I have not forgotten about you, Aries. So I'll see you over there. We're going to go straight into it. Um, but if this is where we depart, Aries, I wish you the very, very best, okay? I appreciate the thumbs like. Take care of yourself. Bye.